Actors and Writers Guild is on strike. I'm here to give my thoughts, opinions. Please leave a like and subscribe. Let's get straight into this. So the facts. The Writers and Actors Guild are both on strike, which means all productions are shut down. Essentially, everything's ground to a halt. And what does that mean for us? Well, first of all, who do I support? I actually don't support either of the writers, actors, or Hollywood. You know who I do feel sorry for? The VFX artists. They need a pay rise. I just want to get this out of the way at the start of this video. These guys go on strike, especially these actors. And I'm talking about the like the high paying actors. Them complaining about not getting paid enough. I feel sorry for the average, like average actors who are trying to make it who aren't getting paid enough. You know, they say they work like long hours. Okay, like I don't know how many hours they're working, uh, but say they're working long hours and not getting paid and they have to work another job. You know, they're working a lot. Okay, they probably deserve pay rise. Not the Mark Ruffalo's and the Brie Larson's and the uh, Harrison Ford's. Harrison Ford's like 80. He doesn't really need to work anymore. Uh, but you know what I mean? Like the, the, the high profile actors, they don't need to, they, they do one gig and they're fine. Okay. Uh, so VFX artists, on the other hand, they, they are overworked and underpaid for the amount of work that they do. And a lot of modern movies rely on VFX. So bloody, give them a pay rise. Forget about these guys, give them a pay rise. Second thing, AI, I do agree, is a problem in the sense that if Hollywood had it to, I guarantee you they use AI to replace people because it's cheaper. You don't have to pay AI. Okay. Or you do, you so much cheaper than paying an actual person. Uh, same with actors. They don't want to pay residues to actors if they can just use the likeness and perpetuity. So yeah, those two I support. The rest of the demands, more pay, etc. Streaming. I think there should be more transparency with streaming. And that's something that they'll, don't want to do because it'll make them look bad. Because a lot of Netflix, Disney, etc., TV shows don't actually get a lot of views. And it would it would expose how actually broken streaming is. You look at streaming, okay? And this is the problem with streaming. I had this discussion with my friend. How many streaming services are there? Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime. Stan, Binge, HBO, Binge in Australia, but HBO Max, Paramount, Plus, Crunchyroll, that's eight already. Is there any more? Have I missed any? There's probably more. That is too many. There's too many people wanting their fingers in the pie. Okay? Too many. It's not good. It's not good for us because all of this gouge and we just end up like, oh, I'll, Flavor of the month. Do you want to watch something on Netflix this month? Do you want to watch something on Disney Plus? Notice how streaming services no longer release things all at once. They release it week by week. There's a reason for that. Because they know that the days of the binge are over. They know that in order to retain people, end your, end your things on a cliffhanger and, you know, space it out over like two months. Two months worth of fees you get for one, if you want to watch one streaming, you know, so like six episodes. Great. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, Hollywood. Actors want to get paid more for working less. So actors doing less work because they have less TV like um, episodes and essentially they want to get paid more because they want to get paid more for less. No, you should not get paid more money to do less work. If you're talking about residues, if the show does well, then yes, you should be paid that. But you should not be paid more upfront to do less work. For example, if you were say previously you do 25, 30 minute episodes, right? And now you're doing 10 one hour episodes. Well, that's five episodes less time. You should not be paid more to do less work. That just doesn't make any sense. Just in general, ask anyone out there if they think you should be paid to do paid more to do less. And they'll be like, no. So I disagree with that. This is another thing I wanted to bring up. 
and this is probably the biggest one that might get me in a lot of hot water, but I'm going to say this anyway because it's subjective. The quality of writing, this is just the writers, the quality of writing in recent movies and TV shows has been rubbish. Now, you can blame the writers, you can blame corporate, whoever you want to blame, okay? But this has been good. And I'm not even talking about woke. Forget about the woke. I don't want to get into that. Okay, you know, the Disney's woke, okay? Just in general, the writing has not been good. And, you know, it hasn't been aided by the fact that everything that Disney pumps out is either a sequel or a remake. Doesn't help that superhero movies are kind of, like, go at the end of life. Like, we're, we're, we're out of, they're out of fashion now because Disney burnt, burnt the forest down with the pumping out the crap that they did on Disney+. Plus. Uh, with the MCU, which was a stupid decision. Bob Iger, I don't know how he has a job still because of that, but okay. I mean, Kevin Feige should have said, no, don't do that. Don't saturate the market. Worst thing you can ever do is saturate the market, but COVID, they're like, quick, release as much as possible onto our streaming platform. Writing was terrible. Acting. Has acting improved? How many actors actually do their own stunts anymore? This is a legit question. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Okay. I recently watched a lot of uh, older films uh, like Indiana Jones, the originals, uh, a lot of 80s action films, 70s uh, action films. In general, a lot of them do their own stunts. Yes, they're stuntmen. Okay. Uh, but because there's no CGI, because there's none of these crutches, a lot of it's in camera, close to the, you know, you've got actors who got, you know, you know, fit and buff. Look at Sigourney Weaver in Aliens. She's just a weapon, absolute killing machine. She got she got into the like fit for the role. Brie Larson. Looking at her in the Marvels trailer, I was. Did she even fit? Did she do? Did she work out for the role? I can't tell. That's what I mean. Are the actors doing more work? I, that's a legitimate question. Are they doing more work to justify their pay rise? Okay. Because you shouldn't be paid more to do less. That's not how it works. Yes, inflation's a thing, but guess what? Entertainment is a disposable, is it something that's disposable? It's not required to live. Okay. And I know that hurts a lot of people in Hollywood for me to say that. You do not need movies and TV shows to live. And guess what? And this is another hard truth. There is a lot of free entertainment out there. There are YouTube videos that get more views than TV shows now. Just think about that. Video essays that get more views than like a 30 minute TV show in their lifetime. Think about that, okay? There is so much free entertainment, okay? Free to air television is kind of, will always exist. You know, people want to put on some trash. This is why a lot of free to air television is now reality TV. It's what people want to watch. Okay, all the news. There'll always be someone who watched news and always free to air television. Okay, what else? Uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook Reels. These are all free. People are entertained. They don't need to go and watch a movie. Okay. You look at a majority of movies these days, how much of the audience is actually under the age of 25? Not a hell of a lot. Not a hell of a lot. And that's what Hollywood doesn't realize is they need to adapt, okay? This, this age, if anything, this strike will be a tipping point. Maybe they'll weed out a lot of the, the crap that is infested Hollywood, okay? And that includes, there are a lot of writers and actors who are not good enough to be in Hollywood. I'm sorry that that might hurt some of them. Feelings, but they're not good. Okay. Some of these writers are not good. Okay. Again, if you write something and it's not good, why do you expect to be paid more? Yeah, you should be paid. You did work. Okay. But should be paid more? Probably not. Okay. If it's not successful, should be paid more? Probably not. If you were in a big budget blockbuster and it didn't, should you pay? Probably not. 
And that's what I mean. It's unsustainable what's happening in Hollywood at the moment. And if anything, this actors and writer strike hopefully will cleanse that that business practice of release everything big budget, okay? No small mid tier films because that's what Hollywood is. Just big budgets everywhere. Where's the mid tier films? Oh, they're all on streaming. Don't release them on stream. Release them the theaters. People are willing to go and see mid tier things. Oppenheimer is an example of that. Cost a hundred million, okay? Reasonable budget. Had a hundred fifty million marketing. Probably will make, I don't know what, six hundred, six seven hundred million. It's a good film by a talented director. That's what you need. Talent. Get the good stuff out there, or control the budget. Not everything has to cost two hundred million, three hundred million. Because if everything costs three hundred million, you need to make a billion dollars to make a profit. Okay, in order to make a billion dollars, you need to make a four quadrant, everyone is happy movie. That's not good. That leads to safe, boring projects like Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, although that wasn't really safe, that was just boring. Uh, or a lot of the Star Wars films, Marvel films. Yes, I know a lot of the property, again, the whole woke thing, okay, doesn't really matter because even if it, you remove even if you remove the woke elements in these the so-called woke elements the movies themselves are still not good okay there's the little mermaid and i'm being honest like the little mermaid remake that just recently came out it's a bomb it didn't make it won't make a profit is that a good film forget about the fact that they changed the act forget about all that is it a good film no it's a it's a remake that is inferior to the film that it's remaking. So why the hell should it make more money or make money? Why should we be like, oh, well, just go and watch it because it's a little, it's entertainment, right? That's what people do. Okay. Indiana Jones, is it a good movie? No. So why are people surprised when these films are, are not doing well? Oh, and they're blaming the fans. They're not doing well because people don't want to watch them because they're not good films, okay? Forget it. And if you're going to attack people, okay, you're going to ostracize the people who will potentially go and see your films, do you think that's going to get them to go and see your film? No. That's another thing why I don't support some of these actors who are like, oh, well, woe is me. Get, we, you know, feel sorry for us. You know, we're not being paid enough. Why should I feel sorry for you when you've spent how many years attacking people for not watching your films. Attacking fans of these properties for not liking the crap that you put out. And then blaming them. Oh, it's the Star Wars fans. They're just toxic. They don't want to watch their watch out Mandalorian or the you know all the crap we're putting out. How dare they not watch what we put out? You gotta like it. No. This market isn't driven by Hollywood and uh, the actors and the writers. You know what it's driven by? Consumer demand. It's a business. You're creating products. Movies are products. Okay, I like to think that movies can be deeper, you know, and all, you know, meaningful and like, oh, that's art, right? They're products. And at the end of the day, people will decide whether they think your product, your movie is worth spending how much ever it is for a movie ticket, plus drinks, popcorn, the, the, the time to drive out there to the movie theater, sit down, sit through seven ads, 20 minutes of ads, sit through the movie and then go home. Oh, and time, worth their time as well. Not just their money, time and money. You're not just, stop, stop with this, Hollywood. Stop pretending like you don't need the consumer to survive, <laughs> okay? You need the consumer. Stop. Also, and I mean this sincerely, just make films like that can target different groups. I miss the days when you had films that, you know, targeted different, you know, different groups. Female fil films that are made by females for females, for example. Films made by males for males. Films that can, you know, a bit for everyone. Those are the four quadrant films. Those are your blockbusters, like the Pirates of the Caribbean films, the, you know, the first three. Those, you know, the, for everyone. Titanic. Why am I mentioning Titanic? Avatar for everyone. 
Okay, everyone can get behind it. Okay, it's not attacking any one of those groups, but a lot of these modern like block blockbusters, they're ostracizing a particular group. And again, I'm using the Indiana Jones uh, film here, and I'm going on a bit of a tangent, but I want to get this out. Using the Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny. Why do they make him into a miserable prick? You're telling me that all the Indiana Jones out fans out there, what they really wanted to see from the Indiana Jones film was Indiana Jones being a sad, miserable prick. And then, of course, the director comes out and says, oh, it's the fans' fault for not liking that I deconstructed the hero. Well, no kidding they didn't like it. What did you expect? You expected them to like it? What, are you insane? I could have told you that wouldn't have worked. Okay? And it's not even the, the fact that you did it. It's the fact that you did it and then are surprised and then went and attacked and doubled down. Okay? Stop being so precious. Anyway, that's... Actors and writers need to stop being so precious. Okay? Yes, deserve a pay rise. They deserve the residuals. But they really need to change the way they do business. And Hollywood as well. Okay? Remember, you guys, your wages are paid by the consumer. Okay? The average Joe pays for your wages. Stop attacking them. Because all that does is make them ap apathetic to your situation and your plight. And a lot of people aren't really supporting these writers and actors strikes. And I can't be surprised why. Me, I really don't care. I mean, this is the thing. And this is what I'm going to end the video on. If they strike for the next two years and nothing gets released in the next two years, guess what? We have a hundred years worth of movies we can go and watch. Okay. We have so much content out there that we can watch in its absence. They need us more than we need them. And I hope they realize that before they're all out of a job and not, you know, on the picket lines, they won't be, you know, bloody doing whatever this is, you know, holding flags. They'll be going to their local uh, service center to collecting a, paycheck from the government because that's they'll be unemployed but anyway that's where i'm going to leave this video i do support but i really don't support that the actors and writers because i don't care okay this is my opinion you can disagree like subscribe all that stuff and i'll see you in the next video take it easy